We are on kick, K-I-C-K dot com. We are live. You can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the channel from Chicago to the UK. Um, if you, for some reason, can't make it to the live, this is where the highlights will be. We also got merch. You feel me? Get you some merch. You know what I'm saying? If you can. And we also got the Patreon, man. Five active shows, Monday through Friday, man. And don't forget to sign up for the Discord. The link to this is all down below. There's a link in the description. It's called Link Tree. Click it. All of my stuff comes up. This is people make mistakes. Doesn't make a criminal. Wait, what? Oh, people's mistakes doesn't... Title this. People make mistakes. Doesn't make me a criminal. Tagged life on lockdown. Series 2, episode 3, man. Let's get into this. This is BBC 3, man. BBC got W uh, documentaries. Stick to that. Move away from the interviews. <laughs> Don't be mad at me in block videos. I'm just saying. Please don't let me back in this property. It's full. 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 We're going to the chip here to get some chips and a drink. 18-year-old Jordan doesn't have a fixed address, but being on tag means he has to be indoors by 9 p.m. My curfew is 9 p.m. and I shouldn't be out. Branding coat! They can't prove that I'm not out of the building, though, because the night staff don't give a shit. My tag's deactivated at the moment because I got kicked out of my house, and as you know, I'm in James Lee, so... I'm technically no fixed abode at the moment because you can't you can't have an address at James Lee. So you're technically still homeless even I'm though you're not you. homeless. Turkish delight, mate. I tell you what, it's the best chippy in Warrington, I'm not even joking. When did you meet Jordan? About a week ago, innit? Through James Lee House, we're both homeless. This dude be taking way too many risks, like. I guess people locked up, jammed up that would love to be out on tag. And we just taking it for granted. Mm. Both in the same situation, bro. That's where family starts, mate. Yes, boss man. Can I have a large chips and cheese with red salt on the chips and barbecue sauce on the cheese, please? Yes. Are you doing crumpets? No, he doesn't do crumpets. Oh, Shit, that's a police car, that, bro. Oh, you better not turn around him, you know. I think he knows me. That cop up? One minute, one minute, one minute. Seriously, bro. Stop about. being paranoid. Bro, and breach me tag right now. Oh, yeah, I don't know, but get him out of the way. Like, shit, not really. Be... Like, we need to, like, run down there or something. Nah, he's turning left. And it? now it's gone, so he's alright. <laughs> I was up for running to get back, yeah. yeah. Of course I was. If he'd have turned around. Yeah. If he's so worried, why is he walking on the main street? Get off the main street. Then I'd have been there before he caught me, so. <laughs> it's like a weird feeling in your stomach, basically, where you think something's going, gonna go wrong, yeah. and when it doesn't, you get such a relief, mate. <laughs> I'm worried about meeting the police, mate, because if they meet me and they know who I am, then I'm fucked. I'll go back to prison straight away for breaching my tag. Well, <laughs> you give them the best run you can and you make sure they can't see your face. Right. Because if they see your face, you're fucked, mate. Trust me, if they know who you are, then. 60 million pounds has recently been spent on GPS tags, which will track offenders 24 hours a day. Again, mate. Oh, no. Bro, I was telling you, something's going on, bro. For real. It's just so nice and calm, and, and all the horses are dead calm on here as well. And that's Tramp. Hi, Tramp. Kian's court day is a few days away. So his mum, Jane, is taking him out to keep his mind off things. Come on, then, I'll just take you in. You can go and say hello. It is proper nice sight like, when you look at the hills and that, isn't it? Hello, baby girl. Minna. Hello. Have a care. 
Let me know in the comments has anybody rode a, cor a horse before. You'd be surprised. When I was, I, I rode a horse, a horse before. Just one time. I'll never do it again. But you know what I'm saying. I was a lot skinnier than what I am right now. So you know, but I, I, I definitely did it. How do you feel being here? It's just relaxed, isn't it? It's just whenever I'm out of like my normal area. Like if I'm somewhere over the farm, my shoulders go down like because obviously I'm relaxed. Yeah, but you are a lot more relaxed. When I walk around like the streets and that, I always have like, yeah. You're on edge, yeah, uh, yeah. You think something's going to happen or like someone's going to get me from behind or something. That's how I was what in was Chicago. What like as a little boy? Oh, it was lovely. I was never farted, end up in court. Hopefully that's the end of it now, isn't it? It is. Scratch your bum. When did you start getting in trouble? I was about seven. Got in with the wrong crowd. And then I just started being a little bastard. I just didn't care. I, I've been in trouble for, like, a few things. Criminal damage, being in stolen cars, possession of blades article. When I used to go climbing and that, like, trespassing and that. And then I've been done for the... Um, to assault. It's a lot for a young one. Considering I'm only 17, yeah. His upper lip don't move when he talk. That boy said, I mean, Nick, you know, you know, GH, possession of a bladed artist. Like, move your upper lip so we can hear. It is. How do you feel about the fact that you're a criminal? People make mistakes. You have to learn from the mistakes. I've learned from mine. There you go. That doesn't make me a criminal. Not now. It just makes me a youth that's made mistakes. There's yeah. only so much anyone can do but for you everyone. You have to let them, you know, you have to let your kids grow up, don't you? Did you have any role models when you were growing up? My mum. My mum's always been a role model for me growing up, like, because obviously I've never really seen much of my dad when I was a kid. Bigger balls than dad anywhere. <laughs> Are you going to buy me a bus if you sure? Nice one. Tommy's court hearing just around the corner. My his bad, last my days bad. of freedom are going from bad to worse. The gas is gone. Do all cribs in the UK got this little cover over the gas th uh, thing? The gas is gone. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's when I'm, be I'm better being in the fucking jail now, all the fucking. I'm living with no phone. Is your lucky gone now, is it? Yeah, the lucky's gone, it's not charging. I'm selling my television because I don't need it anymore. And Spock's too cheap. And I could sell it straight away now. Hey, come on, then. I can't believe I'm doing fucking this. Hey, mate. How much did you get, Tommy? Enough. 20 quid. Oh. 20 quid for the fat back. He had a fat back flat screen TV. It's the day before Kian goes to court. He could be facing his first time in prison. Proper giant in jail, 100 quid. His neighbor, Phil, has come to give him some advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait. Has come to get. This is the scouse way. Hold on. Matter of fact. Is bro playing broom a pool with a broomstick? He out here making it happen, right? Give him some advice. Why are you going to court with no six? Keep that down. Huh? 500 quid for a pouch of backer. <laughs> and 50 quid for a set of skins. So do you know what everyone was using? No. Oh, Bibles. 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 I'll go buy a pouch of backer and stick it up your ass. 
Fuck off, Lord. Kian? No, I'm saying if you no. stuck a pouch of backer up your arse and went in there, you've got 500 quid as soon as you landed in there. Well, that was some of my arse, all that, that's just wrong. Well, how would you get it in? I'm how do you, you think every other fucker gets it in? Oh. I know I've played with some mad stuff, but I think this is the worst thing we've ever played with. What is it? A brew. Brush handle. Brush. Have you? Ah, oh, two shots. I ain't gonna lie. Yellow, lad. I ain't gonna lie, he better than me with the with the broomstick. He better than me with a regular pool stick. Like, he'll whoop my ass and pull. Just keep your head down, that's all I can say. Get him set, Matt. Snacks! Kian's girlfriend, Jen, is preparing for the worst. We've been going out for seven months, nearly eight. The first proper relationship I've actually ever had in a long time. Cheats me like a queen. In a long time, you're like 12. Mm. I love him to bits. He just looks after me. And like, I proper like really adore him so bad. I worry about Kian going to prison. I don't, I don't think he'll cop. It'll be just hard. I'll still be with him, but yeah. Might be my last joint. Might be my last smoker for either. You've been carrying knives, you've been caught with knock-off cars. You went to jail, bro. If you don't go to jail today, I'm gonna run around Crown Court naked. If you don't, someone's looking down on you. Wait, 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 wait. What is he smoking? He got court in like an hour and he's smoking? They don't test you? Yeah. <laughs> don't forget we'll all love you if you go to jail. We all love you, Kian, don't worry. I'm not trying Have you ever thought about what you'll do when you become free? No, nah, not really. I don't really... I don't think like that. I think one, a, one day at a time. Because you could plan for something and then it'll go wrong and then you'll be disappointed. Do you think that you've been dealt a harder blow than others? In a way, yeah. In what way? Just not really been given an opportunity to fucking prove to people that I'm not half as bad. <laughs> I know bro is not sitting in this camera prime victim right now. We've watched you for three episodes prove us the exact opposite. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Friendship's like pretty much all you can get really, isn't it? You've gotten good at wheelies. I remember when he couldn't wheelie. When you got no money and no house. Count on other people, don't you? Mm. His front brake's too squidgy. Mm. Uh, see? They don't work. I know they don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last day of Tommy's trial. Verdict day. And his friend Adam has come along to support him. Bad Depends on a jewelry, I don't know. Yeah. That's the one means. Fuck knows, mate. Don't know. It'll be alright, lad. When did you start vaping? I'm only really doing it to get used to it if I go to prison. Because that's you can vape in jail and I've got to get used to it. Alright, what time do I need to be there for? Okay, no worries, right? What's what what's the score today, love? Do do Yeah, I know, do do I know yeah, do we need to bring a bag with me? Alright, alright, go on to that. So. What did your lawyer say? Was that your lawyer? <coughs> hey Addy, what do you have to take in my bag? You said take a bag with you, mate. Yeah, just in case she said. At that point, I probably would have fired my lawyer. What you mean? What you mean, take the bag just in case? Do you not have faith in what you've laid out in the courtroom? Take boxy socks. Uh, I don't know, take two pairs of chips. You know, you're allowed one pet, what, one of each or something? Mm -hmm. 
We've got to be there for quarter to ten, mate. Oh, is we off then, yeah? You like shooting people's <coughs> hands, isn't it? Got a big fucking day ahead of me. Fucking big day. Might be your last cigarette for a while. Nah, I'll be getting ciggies in there. Nah. Do me good to give up. I feel like him currently in this show is the only one that, like, seriously deserves, like, to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I think will change his life. It's a few hours before Kian's court hearing. Of course, I'm worried. I've been lost about him. No, Kian. I don't mean it, sure. <laughs> yeah, w cinematography, filming through the hole Kian punched in the door. I feel like a drag queen because, like, I have look presentable. I'd go in my farm clothes if I could. Boots covered in our shit. You have to make an effort though, don't you? I can't go in looking like a chav. Are you nervous? No. Not as nervous as what you normally are. Red, like, lovely, lovely. But you get wrapped in, that means you're nervous. I don't get wrapped in. <laughs> yeah, you do with me. <laughs> yeah, you do. Are you nervous, Jane? Me? No. I was up and down all the time in court with me other lad as well, so it's like, here we go again, sort of thing. You know, says it all when a few of the same. Fathers being your kid's life. Like your guards know your first name. Nothing to be proud of. Bye till see you later, lads. Bye, Jane. What do you think you're going to get, Cam? Uh, tag. I honestly, I do think I'm going to go on tag, but I don't think about it now. I hope this is your last time, Kian, because I, oh, I get sick of coming here, mate. Is this, so his case is just if he's going on tag or not? Wait, what? Or going off? I've been caught for me boys. Oh. It's got to be over 20 times. I thought he got his tag taken off last episode. So is he's going to court. I don't even do the crimes, but I have paid the fines. This is the last time though, isn't it, Kian? You'll be fine. Conditional discharge, £640 fine. No jail, no tag. I would have rather him been on tag for me, because they don't confuse big fines. <laughs> No jail, no tag, conditional discards for fine. That's that's a good outlook. She wildin'. <laughs> Plus, it'd have to be in it, eight then, wouldn't it? Right, come on then, mister. At least now I can go to work. Pay me mum. I'll pay 20 quid a month. After spending 12 weeks on curfew, Jordan's tag has finally been removed. He can now legally go out after 9 p.m. I'm free. Bro ass was outside anyway. <laughs> Two days ago. Chase up. Feels amazing. Very nice. Yeah. To me, my tag put my life on pause. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't get a job because people look at the tag and think, nah, I can't employ him because he's a criminal. It's kind of a sense of freedom now. Everything that I've previously used to do, I've left behind me now. I'm finished with that life. Finished with it. Moving on. I'm not hanging around with the people that I... Thus far, Jordan has had two fresh beers and a shot. Who paying for that? Who paid for that? I used to hang around with, except from Connor, because he's one of my best mates. So I was getting the black away from him. Sick of being a knobhead. Just want an easy life. I don't want the stress anymore of, like, looking behind my back for the police and people after me and, like, fighting all the time, getting hurt, maybe going to prison. I just don't want that stress anymore. So I've decided that I'm going to work. I'm going to do honest work, and honest work isn't stressful. <laughs> Oh, you lucky little bastard. 
Tommy's court hearing has come to a close. Life's a fucking dream. He locked up. He was cleared of the robbery charge. Oh, he's good. Happy fucking day. That's it now. Done. I'm fucking Where are you at? They done sold, he done sold his TV. He can't even go home, crack a cold beer and watch a show. He finna just think. Kian is sticking to his word and is planning for his future. Try to get me on a little business. I'm just landscaping. Fucking no! I like it. And say it's an art graph, but there's money in it as well. A fucking lovely day. I need a fair bit of money in that eight for Ellen yeah. and all that. Louis and Kian landscaping. Ellen K sounds better because they do not look like professionals. Kian's a bit of a dodgy name, you know. <coughs> <laughs> Man's got a dodgy reputation. Freedom's best guy when you just have a and it's just like a mad feeling. Fuck he smashed it all lads. Okay. Swear yeah. to God. A sick job, lads. Sit a bit, bro! <laughs> Lad, 40% of young offenders will commit another crime within a year of their original offense. Well, damn, can we leave on a positive note? Why we gotta be so negative at the end, BBC? Those who will, those who do will commit an average of four... <sighs> Ain't no way, dog. They just gonna leave on a negative end. That's negative to end the season. <laughs> I'm gone.